Hi guys. Thank you. Joey. Stop, babe. No, Joseph. Hi, I'm babysitting. Shh. Your voice is too high pitched, child. Um, yes, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so I thought I would do my birth story because I I didn't make the birth story video and I ended up deleting it. No, no, I'm babysitting my nephew. Baby, there is Achilles. Um, here's the nephew. I <laughs> had uh, nope. Um, but yeah, it's, it was raining a little bit, as you can see, or maybe not see, but you can hear, I'm sure. So, this is my birth story, and it's not like a pretty one where I'm sitting in a nursery and having all this beautiful lighting and whatever and the quietness of just nothing but my voice telling the story it's not going to happen that doesn't even exist <laughs> I was cleaning out my closet at 8 p.m i don't know why i was cleaning my closet at 8 p.m but i was and my daughter was and they're helping me i think we were trying to organize and get all the baby stuff ready i'm like the baby can come I was thinking the baby could come uh, either on December the 25th or it could come on the 30th. That's what I was thinking. Um, but I mean, it could have went all the way to January. You never know. So I was just getting baby clothes together to wash them again. Do you want your baby? Hey, hey. I keep forgetting. It's called Choopy. That's what, that's what Kello calls it. So I'm like, we're going to use that. I like it. Um, so, um, I was getting all the baby clothes out of the closet and getting them in baskets to wash. And then I seen a little sock on the floor and I picked up the sock and it was like this tiny. And I was like, just think when your brother's born, his feet is going to fit into this. Um, and she, Tunya goes, oh, it's so tiny. I'm like, I know he's going to be really small. And then I was like, unless he's really big <laughs> because all of my babies went up in size. It was, Tunya was, Tunya was the smallest because I had hyper Mrs. Gravitero. Okay, okay, okay. So I really didn't, you know, there was not much going to either of us at that point. Um, and then, and she was six pounds, five ounces, like so tiny. And then, um, Moses was seven pounds, nine ounces yeah Mommy, and then yeah, no, reginald was eight pounds something eight pounds no he wasn't eight pounds he was seven pounds i think it was seven thirteen or something and then achilles was eight pounds 15 ounces so then i'm like he's got to be a nine pounder i was hoping he was a nine pounder or ten i just wanted a huge fat newborn baby <gasps> um but anyways so then i went to i think i i stepped over something or i no, i bent down to pick something else up off the floor and my water just busted and it was just like warm liquid flowing down my legs and just dripping and i was like did i pee and I don't know why we always think this. It's just so warm and clear. And so we're like, did I just pee myself? I've never, and I was thinking as I was walking to the toilet, I was like, I've never peed myself in a pregnancy before. And I was like, there's no way my water just broke. And then I sat on the toilet and it just gushed and it was like milky water. And I was like, oh, my water broke. <laughs> so my instant reaction to my water breaking was anxiety and fear. And I didn't understand why, and no matter what I thought, no matter what I listened to, no matter what I did, the fear was not going away. Um, and I never understood that because I've never feared in pregnancy or childbirth or anything. Like it was just always a peace and calm and readiness and prepared and, you know, what, you know, our bodies were made for this. Women have been doing this since the beginning of time. Um, but there was just fear there and um so my water had broke and i was like okay let's 
waiting for contractions, started preparing things. Um, I was moving around. I had Braxton Hicks, but never actual like contractions that would lead into anything or going anywhere. We're getting stronger. Um, and I called my friend. I was like, hey, I don't know if you still want to come because you live in South Carolina. They sat, but my water has broke. Um, and she's like, I'm on my way. And then there was traffic. And so she had to take back roads because there was an accident. People were just hitting deer right and left. And um, she, it, she said it would take her, I think, six hours or something. And I was like, please get here in time. I was really afraid she wouldn't make it. Um, but it was 8 p.m. when this happened and no contractions started she arrived and i was still not having any contractions and she's like okay let's 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 start um getting uh i forgot what words she used but anyway she, she put me in all of these positions yes. hey. um to get baby engaged and so you know i was in these head down positions and you know, we were doing the rebozo with a sheet, <laughs> whatever works, right? Um, then she got out the Clary Sage and she rubbed it on all of my pressure points and my feet and ankles. She gave me a head massage, you know, because to just get out the anxiety and relax. Because whenever you're scared or nervous or anxious, it actually can stall and completely stop labor. Um... And then she's like, let me just feel and see where baby is, you know, see if his head is engaged. And I'm like, okay. So I'm laying on the couch and she's really quiet and she's feeling around and she's taking a long time. And I'm like, and she just looks at me and she goes, your baby's not head down, Julia. And I'm like, what? <laughs> he kicked right here or, or, or punched. See, I never know what's a punch or a kick. Uh, he's got a nothing at the middle. Right here. That's where I felt it. I was like, okay, I'm going to have a breech baby, um, but we can do this. I've watched a million videos. Women have breech babies all the time. It's completely safe, more intense, but it's safe, and we're going to be fine. Uh, she's like, let's try and turn him. So she started doing manually, like physically turning him through my belly. Not comfortable at all. Um, but I really wanted to have a head down baby. Um, and then after trying to turn him, she had me going head down, butt in the air, knees on the couch. Um, they were doing rebozo and we're just going back and forth doing all these things. She was rubbing Clary Sage on the belly. Um, and then when she checked again, she was like, okay, he is no longer feet down or butt down, but he's transverse. You cannot birth a transverse baby, you guys. That's, you go to the hospital and have a C-section. Why are you, why are you head there? You need to be completely opposite. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rub you down with clear sage. And I want you to do some, either there or here. Cause actually that would probably be better there. Hi. Hello. I'm Rachel. You probably know me. Probably four, maybe. Who taught you? Are you already moving, Bubba? 
feels like shoulder. Shoulder? It feels like shoulder. Because shoulders are usually hard. So I think he's, he's like this right now. I think he's, I think his head's here. Um, I feel. Well, it's actually sitting here. Okay. Did you do, did you have virtual? Yeah. But you're gonna call me at Ray Ray. Cause I'm gonna become your bestest friend ever. <laughs> okay. So you haven't had any backs and hips at all? Uh, I had three. I had three. So, so, so you called me. Yeah. Since you, you feel like your water broke. Yeah. Okay, so have you had any leaking? Okay. Yeah. So then she continued and she continued and as she was pushing, I felt the baby kick and move and shift and he went right into the head down position and I was like, thank you Jesus. <laughs> um, so, and that's at least what we felt because we couldn't feel the shoulder up here anymore and we couldn't feel it to the side. So we believed he was head down. She was like, I am 90% sure he is head down, Julia. I'm like, okay, like, it's, <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> so, um, at this point, my contractions instantly started coming and they came really fast and they came really hard. Um, and when, once this happened, it was, there was absolutely nothing that was comforting me. We did try lots of things, but it, there was zero comfort in it at all and if it, it felt like it was worse anytime I was being touched um putting pressure on the back always worked in every pregnancy this one did nothing like it was excruciating um so I feel like this was intense wise the most painful birthing well not birthing but laboring experience um, and I really had to mentally put myself in the place that I needed to be to cope and to get through this because if I tightened my body, then I was closing up my birth canal and I was slowing down labor or stall, you know, completely stalling it and stop. You got this. Hey, your baby is almost here. Take a deep breath. Come on. No, 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 no. Calm it down. You can calm it down. Way, way, way down. Come on. You got this. Calm it down. Calm it down. Calm it down. deliver the placenta out of the water just because that will help you uh, get the okay. placenta out correctly. Oh, okay. Come on, baby. Let's hear you. Mm -hmm. Let's hear your voice. Say hello. Brown eyes. <laughs> oh, no. Look at you. <laughs> come over here, y'all. Come over to your brother. Say hi. Come on. Look at him. Julia, suction him. Suction him a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Okay. Do you have towel? Where's your towels? I'm supposed to put them in basket. Where's that chair? Mm. What about for you, Julia, though? For this, you to get out? This, this is the one. Uh, I don't know. Is this one Julia to get out on? Yeah. She needs to get out because of her. Well, she said she has a problem. So yeah. It was just hard coming out. Wait. I mean, uh, that's how hey, baby. Last time we had to go to the hospital. You're happy. Look at Julia. He's happy. He's not like, Mommy, this is traumatic. You did a good job. He's like, I had a peaceful birth. You thought I wasn't ready. I showed you wrong. Look at all that. Look at this, Fernix. That's Butterball. <laughs> Bacon. <laughs> okay. Is there, is there like bath towels in the bathroom? Just to get you out of There's one in my bathroom.